Spring sports are right around the corner, and that means baseball season. We are just two days away from opening day for baseball, and we have DITV sports reporter Kimberly Bates live in the newsroom with more on this 2020 team. Good morning, Kimberly. What can we expect from the Hawks this season? Good morning, Tiana. So the Hawks are returning three of their core starters this season, but Austin Martin is really going to be the only one who's locked into his position that he played last season. So Coach Heller has a lot of tough decisions to make position player-wise. A lot of speculation is coming from outside of Dwayne Banks as the Hawks are coming off of a 31-win season, and they're just speculating that maybe they just got sluggish at the end of the season. So this is what Coach Heller had to say about that. You know, with all that we had gone through, um, I felt like that we were still fighting hard. I thought we were playing as well as we were when we were winning games. Mm -hmm. But the thing that we ran into was two teams that played really well against us. It wasn't like we were, you know, flat or got blew out. I just think it was more baseball related than anything else. I, I didn't feel like it was uh, sluggish. Now, we were shorthanded last year, and I do, I do think that um, the back end of our bullpen got a little tired at the end of the season because we had to, to go to them a lot. Now. The Hawks have been known for having a strong bullpen for the last several seasons. Do you see them continuing that legacy? Absolutely. The Hawks have so much depth when it comes to their bullpen, especially this season. They do have to find a replacement for the number one starter, Cole McDonald, but they've got starters like Grant Judkins, who posted the team's best ERA last season, Grant Leonard as the best stopper this season, and also Trace Hoffman, Hunter Lee, and Ben Probst. Another face we haven't seen in a while because of an injury last season is Jack Dreyer. He is a top candidate as a Friday night starter, and this is what he had to say about his perspective on the bench last season. When you're not playing, um, you kind of have a, the back seat and you can, you can watch what other guys are doing right or maybe doing wrong. Um, but last year we had a lot of great leaders helping us out, um, telling us you know what's right, what's wrong, how to go about our jobs. And so I was really able to you know, take a closer look at, at what they meant by that stuff. And so um, I think it kind of helped prepare me for, for what's expected of us for this season. Really, everything's back to 100%. Um, I'm just excited to get back out there and you know, show, show the team what I can do. Thanks, Kim. The Hawks kick off their season this Friday in Port Charlotte, Florida against Kent State. Like Connor McCaffrey, we head away from the baseball field to go to the basketball court. When the media talks about Iowa basketball, they talk about Luca Garza, and rightfully so. But there is one star player who does not get as much national attention as he deserves. With more on that is DITV sports reporter Tanner Desplank. <laughs> Joe Wieskamp has been stepping up his game all season long, being able to score on any part of the floor. And last weekend, he scored a season high of 30 points to beat Nebraska. Like I said before the season, um, last year I was kind of a, a guy that could shoot it and get to the rim. But I think I've done a better job of creating more opportunities for myself, um, taking more mid-range shots. I don't think I'm shooting them as well as I'd hope, but I think that just being able to shoot those um, and take those with confidence is opening up different things um, for my game. The thing about him, you know, he's, he's really just so incredibly efficient with what he does. Uh, you know, he can get going and, and he can just move without it, but he affects the game at both ends. Uh, you know, obviously we're looking for him, you know, we're locked into him, but uh, you know, he's not a mistake guy. You know, he's not a volume shooter. Being on the same team as Luca Garza has cast a little shadow over Wieskamp, but his playmaking abilities and efficiency should still have him being considered as one of the top players in the NCAA currently. From Carver Hawkeye Arena, Tanner Desplank, DITV. Wieskamp and the rest of the team head to Indiana tomorrow to take on the Hoosiers, topping off at 7 p.m. The indoor season for Iowa track and field is just heating up. At the Husker Invite this weekend in Lincoln, the track team set 11 personal bests and won two individual titles. Senior Will Daniels finished first place in the heptathlon, breaking the school record with 5,869 points. He is currently ranked number one in the Big Ten and sixth in the nation. Senior Joe McConico also earned his fourth win of the season in a 60-meter hurdle, finishing with a time of 7.67 seconds. The Hawkeyes' next meet is in Ames on Friday and Saturday at the Iowa State Classic. I don't know what I'm more excited for these upcoming months, spring sports or warmer weather. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for a preview of men's basketball as they take on the Indiana Hoosiers tomorrow night.
Emily, back to you at the desk.